Hey everyone, it's Kristen, and today we're going to be doing this face paint of Vessel from Sleep Token. I have been thinking about this mask for a long time, and I've been wanting to make it into a face paint look. To start this look, I'm going to be using an Elmer's glue stick to block out my brows. Next, I'm using a black eyeliner to create the middle set of eyes on the mask. It was kind of hard to disguise some of my features because the mask is a little bit different shape than a face. I had to try to hide my eyes and the shape of them the best I could. Once I had the shape I liked, I'm filling it in with black face paint. Next, with white eyeliner, I am sketching out where the logo for the mask is going to go. I decided to do this in eyeliner first so that I could erase and really figure out where the proportions were supposed to go. For this, there was a lot of back and forth and erasing and redoing, trying to make everything as even as possible. Once I had the logo shape that I wanted, I went over it with a red face paint. I tried to make this as even as possible as well, making the lines very straight or as straight as possible. I had considered using tape for this and trying to tape off every single line and make them very straight, but this didn't work out very well. I had tried this the day before and decided to go with this method instead. For this look, I had to sort of take artistic license and put some things just where they fit on my face rather than the mask. The mask was a little bit larger than someone's actual face. Also, the mask is a little bit flatter, so where my nose is, I couldn't really make it any more flat, so I just had to sort of go over it as best I could. Now I'm sketching out where the eyes will go. I decided to use my eyes as the middle set of eyes and put one above and below. I used eyeliner to create the shape and then filled that in with black body paint. Next, for the bottom half of the face, I start sketching out with a red eyeliner. This bottom half of the face took forever. It was the hardest part. I had to stop and retry it several times. I'm going to refer to it as the blood lace section. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I 
tried very hard to create a shape that looks similar to the one he had. I looked at several different pictures for references, but I kind of had to take artistic license and just make what fit because again, the mask is a little bit larger than my face, so not everything would have fit. So I just tried to kind of create the same shapes within it. It was very hard to get both sides to be even and for it to look very close to the mask. So here I'm going to go through and sketch the shapes that I want first and the whole shape of the mask and then I will go in and fill in and shade. Now I'm filling it in with the red face paint and I'm going to be kind of shading as I go because if I filled in everything with red, it would just look like a big red blob and it wouldn't have any of the smaller details. At first I tried to use black eyeshadow as kind of like shadows around each shape, but that ended up looking kind of muddy and not very defined. So I end up going around each shape with the black body paint.
Next, I begin to fill in the background of the mask with white. Then adding this little horn detail down here. I'm not really sure what you'd call that. And then I'm filling in the bottom half of the mask with black face paint. And now I'm filling in around the outside of the mask with black as well. And then I'm using black on the neck, face, and chest area just as Vessel does. Then to add a little bit of wetness to the blood lace area, I put a little bit of fake blood on top of it. I kind of wish I didn't. I think it kind of took away some of the detail. So maybe if you try this, don't do that. But I did think it gave it the sort of wet look that the mask usually has. And then I put on a hood to complete the look. This look was super difficult. It took me all day long, but I'm really happy I did it. I had a fun time doing it. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.